last episode, I said Iruma finally got wings, but actually that's wrong because there was that moment, remember, when er Balam was taking Iruma to the, I don't know, what, 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 what was he doing? He was like, this human is different. I mean, this being is so different. Let's see if he has wings. And then Ali came out at the end and acted as the wings. Then this new design, Iruma with this bow, clearly Ali is infused into it, right? When creating the weapon. And now it seems like he does have the wings like that and he's got a sick weapon. Man, moments like this, new power-ups in Shonen series. That's what we live for when we watch series like that. It's so good. Not to say that there aren't amazing scenes uh, other than just like new power-ups and action hype moments, but you know, these are special moments. Like think about like, Super Saiyan or like Gear 2, like Gear 2 for like Luffy in One Piece or like Bankai and Bleach, right? These are the things that I really get hyped about still. Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Yinokun. Last episode, I did kind of shit on Bachiko a bit too early without even understanding what she was about. I mean, based on what we've seen so far, all she was doing was ordering Iruma and Shaxx around to just do her errands. And then there was no actual training involved. And then the flashback came out of nowhere. That was, she was so emotional. She used to be so different. She used to be so happy and, you know, so invested in her students. But one of them, no, one after one, they all started to kind of give up and she felt kind of betrayed. And then she decided it's better not to have any hope at all. Therefore, I won't be disappointed. But Iruma will never let you down. He committed and he wanted that compliment from Bachiko. And at the end, I think she started to blush when she saw the design, right? This is going to be so good. We're leading into the Harvest arc. I think it might start this episode or the next. Everybody in the Misfits has, you know, powered up except the ghost of the Misfits where... I Dude, Caligo didn't even assign a tutor. How can you blame me for not knowing who this guy is? Caligo doesn't even know his own students. Unless he already does and there's something else going on. I, I don't really know. Let's watch today's episode. Yeah? And this suit. This, his new, like, camouflage print, like, uh, jacket. It's new, right? Everything about him is new right here. Is this? Wait. Two limits only so far. It's our last, yeah. Okay. We can't spam it. It'd be too OP, right? Hmm? It's like a slap in the back from a coach. Ooh, you got it, coach. What is this advertisement? It's time for the Harvest Festival. No, no, no. This, no. These two did the advertising or like the intro scene before. Um, like the the battler festival or something, I think. No, I remember this. I was like, what are they doing? A giant jungle behind Babylus. You know, it's probably wrong to equate this to tune-in exams, but I think a lot of people just call anything, you know, like a battle royale or some kind of like survival thing in the Shonen series. Like, tune-in exam, tune-in exams from like Naruto. Eiko, try your best. But I don't think she's there to get food. She has a camera, meaning she just wants more pictures of Iruma and uh, Amari. So many people here that I don't really know. Oh, oh shit. Where did that come from? It was all so nice and wholesome until now. <laughs> Winning the huge Harvest Festival. We gotta win. We gotta win. Opera too. Oh? Amari? Oh, she got a different outfit here. Damn. It's a big deal, huh? So, Baram is on it too. Henry, the dad, I think I missed some too. I should have kept reading. Yeah. Who the fuck are these dudes? I have no clue who any of these are. And that you have... This guy looks like Discount Edom on, on the left side just because of his hair. The shopkeeper? With the bamboo stick? Huh? Nafuro. Ooh. Is he related to the shopkeeper? <laughs> Smell is so bad, everyone gets knocked out. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> Literally, stay away from him. Like, not because he's strong or powerful, but he smells like shit. <laughs> okay. But, uh, where's the actual people to, you know, be hyped about? I don't care about these fools, man. That... But it's cool to see other first years that I didn't know existed at all. Doro Doro. Hmm? I thought it's only first years out. They failed first year. <laughs> well, um, well, I guess that gives him a leg up, kind of. Hmm? Oh. Who is this dude? This <laughs> voice actor is kind of cool. I like his design. His hair looks epic. 
It looks like a really jacked, studious person. The most second place ever? The guy who always plays the second? <laughs> I'm not sure if you should be proud of that. But, okay. He's probably purposely play. I mean, maybe she is trying to play, like, purposely play second. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Oh. The misfits. Oh, a little bit of rivalry. Yeah. The people that are really ambitious obviously sees the misfits as competition because, of course, of all the first years, yeah, like the fact that they're using the royal one out of everybody in the first year class, that's huge. Also, the Walter Park incident. Yeah, our cloud is insane. Everybody has our eyes on us, huh? And the target's on our back. We're not really the underdogs. We might be actually anticipated to win the entire thing then, huh? Cozy. Well, on the... Well, sometimes... They're gonna look... Okay, so this is the... How they look down on the misfits. Oh, who's showing up first? Okay, we didn't see Jazz um in the pre... Is Jazz still here? Jazz is wearing a mask, it seems like. Everybody looks so different now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Even the pink... Who is that doll? Wait. Who's in that, game, that doll suit? I was just about to see the pink maestro look super epic now, but who's in that little suit there? Am I missing somebody? Mark designs changed like over one episode. Everyone looks so sick. But, 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 Alucard is like wearing like a muzzle. What the fuck? And even Jazz is wearing like a mask. What's going on with. Oh, it's Clara! Right? Why is Clara in that little suit? Oh my god, I. Kerori, the summoner queen. Clara, what are you doing? <laughs> the elements of surprise, right? What the fuck? What's going on with Clara? Iruma's not here yet. The hero always arrives late. Damn. Our new designs are so cool, man. Who had it the hardest? Um, I think Jazz probably had the hardest time. Like, Jazz and Alucard, I think, because we didn't even see him in the previous episode of everybody checking in to see everyone's progressing, because I thought that was like a hint that they're still like training and suffering. Why are they wearing masks, though? A muzzle and a mask. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we did ask for help every time. Uh, Kenori kind of had it bad. She was like, stuck in a cell. Also, oh, they had a girl's party? It's a different, uh, why is her eyes coming from the side? You know, everybody's like looking for the misfits to compete with them, but the misfits are competing amongst themselves. They don't even give a shit about everyone else. They're just like, who had it the worst time? Iruma! <laughs> That's a little bit of a mean welcome. I wanted to see more of like, um, Bachiko's training with Yuma about actually shooting the bow. Whoa, he's getting dizzy. Okay, he's crying. But if they showed us how he shoots the arrow and stuff, it'd be, you know... It's not, so, it's not like a huge shock. They're gonna save that moment. And he's got a ponytail to copy you, kind of. Yeah, Azaz and Sabro, uh, they definitely had one of the worst times in training. I'm sure everybody trained up. Wait, Alistair and Jazz look like butlers. They look like they're about to serve some tables. Oh. There we go. We gotta win this. We gotta win this. But honestly, wouldn't it be hilarious if someone like Clara won the entire thing? Like, I, 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 I don't mind that kind of outcome either. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, he just gets ranks up anyways because of his he's still naturally gifted and he's so good, but he only wants to be around Iruma though. <laughs> no, it's not that, but that's a good that's, that's a good point, Sabro. You gotta take a shit go, go now. <laughs> like the other people that think the Mr. Class is just a bunch of smiling nice people. Uh, no, Clara's in the suit, the little doll. <laughs> It's so menacing! What? 
Six, 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 six. Four days. I love how everything's always like, you know, just six, six, six. Even our pose is like six, six, six. This is gonna be good. Yo, this is gonna be a high park. Eiko, no! She couldn't get a proper picture. Amiri? Is she worrying about Iruma? She's not even thinking. Hey, watch what you're stamping. <laughs> She's too busy watching. Oh, are we gonna do a little team huddle? Yeah! Where is the ghost of the misfit right now? You know? I guess he doesn't participate in these. I, I, I wanna- I, It'd be fun if he was still in the corner around here somewhere, yeah? Come on, Iruma, lead up. Lead the team. You are the leader, kind of, I guess. That's right, we train hard. Yeah, Ex-Elizabeth is veil, man. Something about that veil. Tell him, Iruma! Even though Shaq's pretty much just led the entire thing. Oh? <laughs> Something I would have never imagined Iruma to say, but that went pretty well. Everybody seems to be a bit intimidated, huh? So, the whole point is to... How do you win? I don't know. You're just getting food, right? But obviously, you can't get those kind of food. You gotta... Oh, maybe it's... <laughs> it runs stupidly fast. 10 points. Yeah, it's on a point system. Mmm, okay. Okay. No cheating allowed. That Dorodoro brother is definitely gonna cheat, though. No fighting between students. Really? Oh, you got DQ. Huh. Because you know how Bachiko said this is a battle for survival? I thought, you know, everybody was allowed to fight amongst themselves, too, but interesting. Who's that? As as. A fire punch. I don't think I've ever seen him actually punch. And if you look at his like robe, doesn't it kind of remind you of, like a martial artist? The way with his like, there's something about the collar and his ponytail makes you look think like he learned kung fu over the break. But he's also punching. He never used that application though. Balam teach him kung fu? Not that kung fu exists in this realm, but look at the way he's punching too. Am I looking too deep into things? Behind you. Oh? Huh? What is this thing? A bear fish thing? Oh, it's Sabro. <laughs> so we can't work in teams, right? Oh, he's eating the candy whiskers of that, that tiger thing. Oh? What is it? Something beyond boss class. Legendary Leaf. How many points? Anyone know what it is? No one knows what the fuck it is! <laughs> it's just Discovery? It's not a monster we have to beat? It's just a random mystery thing? 100k? We need to move up. Doro Doro Brothers, when did you get in? We didn't even know! Oh shit, they snuck up on us. Okay, that gets my, you know, expectations for them a bit higher. But they are second year, so I guess I have to expect something more from them. And they're supposed to be a bunch of cheaters. Yes, but you also snuck up. How? Couldn't even sense their energy. Is this our first matchup, 2v2? But we're not allowed to fight against. Competition is fine, but we can't actually like, fight. Alright, our first, you know, challenge of the Dorodoro brothers. Okay, what the fuck is going up with Clara? She has not said a single line. Remember at the end of her training, her entire appeal was the element of surprise and being cute. Why is she in this little, this little doll suit? I don't know, but it's gonna be an element of surprise one day and I hope that it's gonna pay off. I have some really big expectations because they set up Clara, the loud rambunctious one, to be in this suit and not say anything. So it's gotta be good. It's gonna be amazing. The Harvest Festival has started. It's not what I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a battle royale, but it's more of, you know, collecting ingredients, but you can't fight amongst each other. But who's to say... Like, are they watching the entire time? If we started fighting due to something during the competition, would they really get DQ'd? 
I don't know because I, I want them to fight amongst themselves. That's the kind of where I'm getting the enjoyment from. I want everybody to know how good the Misfit class is, but I think they already pretty much know how good everyone is. You saw everyone outside when we were doing a group huddle. Everybody had their eyes on us, right? But the, I guess the thing that they look down on us is the fact that we're all so kind of just smiling and happy-go-lucky at times just from the surface, but we've changed. We've changed. Everybody has gotten completely new designs, new powers. It's going to be so good, dude. I can't wait for this rest of this arc. And who's going to win the Harvest Festival? I want, I mean, Irima to win because he's a main character would be a bit too much of a cop up. Usually in these kind of things, it's the most unexpected person to win out of fucking nowhere. For example, if the ghost of the Misfit class just won out of nowhere and that was his first introduction as part of the Misfit class, would it not be insane? I don't know, but it's probably not going to be because I don't even see him here. I don't know. I, Clara winning, so I don't know. I, I just hope that it's going to be a surprise as to who wins and how they're going to win. Especially with the wild card of the mysterious like leaf that's supposed to be 100k points. It seems like the entire event is pointless if someone collects that leaf, so I'm sure that'll come into play at one time. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.